This episode, I sit down with Guy Montgomery, a Billy T award-winning comedian and international podcast superstar. But will my wines find their match, or will I strike out with the best moustache in the business? I'm familiar with your work, obviously, and of your repertoire and your personality, and so we've paired you with a wine, and that's the idea, obviously, to match you with something that we think is like yourself. So we took upon the notes of yourself, you're sort of uh, surprisingly flexible, I suppose. I've seen the physicality of some of your work. Uh, you are um, somewhat silky, yet refined. You are uh, a little gamey and robust, but you've got enough sort of expressiveness about you to keep you interesting. So. Uh, it was a pretty clear winner, uh, and you have been matched, if this is of any interest to you. It is. To the 2012 Huia Pinot Noir from Marlborough here in New Zealand. Wonderful. So, if we're going to walk through the tasting. Yeah. Okay, let's, go, let's, let's, do, let's do this for real. All right, so first we're going to have a little look at the colour. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, tip it on its side, get it against something white, the, the table or something like that. And we'll just look, general impression. You know about wine, obviously. I know a little bit. I know So something. can you... I do host a wine show. Okay. Yeah. So you would presumably know then you can actually distinguish between the different shades of red that a wine might be. Um, I feel like I can pretend like I can, but I think you're probably pretending half everyone's, the time anyway. Yeah, everyone's pretending yeah. all the time. You're I getting into it. What? Can you give us a colour? Please help us with the tasting. No, beyond red. Yeah. What do you get? What are, you, what are you picking up on the nose there? People who can just, like this, it just smells Wine. like communion. Yeah. Um, well, the most important thing is, how's it taste? Look, well, like, cheers. Let's, uh, cheers. Oh, cheers. I need a... I'm sorry I haven't provided you with any um, information on the smell or colour of the wine. Mm? Mm. That's just to aerate it if you want. You can spit. I'm just, for the sake, I'm giving you the option of spitting. So too I've late. swallowed now. it. Okay. Yum. Yum. Would you give that uh, five stars? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but again, I'm like hideously underqualified. No, that's what? okay though, because people, like, I can drink, I'm more confident in terms of having an opinion on what beer I like than I am with wine. While we were talking, um, this lovely large pizza has been slid into shot. And if anyone's not familiar with Toto's Pizza, uh, who are upstairs at the Monte Cristo room, this is what they look like. This is quite a large pizza. I'm quite excited right. for this. You can, uh, and the pizza, let me tell you this, it's available by the slice during the festival. At, at which guy will be performing? Right, right here. Right here. That's a great plug. Do you want to, here, you take that piece and I'll put this pizza I'll help. on the it's ground. It's long. It's they a long it, piece. They Team do it by the meter here. <laughs> You're the best plugger. I'm actually uh, co-producing this bill. venue during the comedy festival, so it's imperative that people understand how good <laughs> oh, and pizza. long the pizza is here at Monte Cristo. Let me, I noticed there is usually a pretty uh, similar vein with your shows and the name of your shows tying into the wonderful uh, plethora of puns with your last uh, name Montgomery. Yeah, well this year I'm doing that. Previously, mm -hmm. last year was Guy Mont Comedy, mm -hmm. which was just um, like, I don't, I don't know how I stumbled into it, but it was just a very fortunate, so, and that's, I'm taking an iteration of Guy Mont Comedy to the Melbourne Festival. Right. This year, for reasons unbeknownst to myself mm -hmm. and presumably what will be a hopeful audience, uh, I'm doing a Christmas show under the banner of Guy Montgomery Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, which is, you know, as groan inducing as it will hopefully be hilarious. Right. I'm fucking rocking this red. This is the Hoya single vineyard, Marlborough Gewürz Um oh. Do you know Gewürz as a style? Uh, personally? Yeah. 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 I know that uh, people, uh, people treat it as a dessert wine or a sweet dinner wine. They can do, yeah. Yeah, New Zealanders, we call it Gewürz because we're terrified of the second ten syllables. This is true. Word. Yeah. Can you, can you spell Gewürz, Tremaine? E W U T E N E Z Z E R. Very close, so close. This one I'm going to leave to you. I want just, you know, okay. bring it up. There's no wrong answers here. What does it smell like? Remind you of your childhood? Grapes dipped in sugar. I'm just riffing here. Not a bad, not a bad first assessment. Definitely got uh, sweetness on the nose. Got some tropical fruit. Um, like, you know those fruit jubes? I do know fruit jubes. Juby. They've never made a grape one. This is a grape jube. A grape jube. Cheers. Mm. 
That is really luscious. I do really like that. I don't know much, uh, to be honest, about the conditions in which this is grown. I know that it's pretty alluvial soils. It's right by the river in Marlborough that dissects it in two. Don't say okay. alluvial okay. like everyone knows the word. It's, um, it's a stony, good drainage. Good, just good for, good for wine. Good alluvial for is what people say when they want to disguise the fact that they've got a good drainage system. I think so. We, wine making. This is why writing the blurbs on wine is the business. I want to, I think you'd be good at it. Do people in the wine tasting world throw around je ne sais quoi? Could you use it in a sentence? Like we imagine uh, someone in the wine industry using it. They go, mmm, it's uh, ooh, sugar coated crepes. Mm. Quite juby. It has a certain mm, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give you a cross table handshake. Um, it's been an honour and a privilege having you on our show. Um, and I do also encourage people to get out to your show. It's a Christmas show. Right, I'm just going to plug the shit plug out it, of this right it, now. It's so hard. I've had a few glasses of Pinot Noir and some uh, sugar-coated white wine. Uh, it's, a, it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. You like Christmas? Huh? You like the months of April and May? Have I got the show for you? Wow. And beyond that, check out anything that's happening at the Monte Cristo. We honestly work so hard to do it. <laughs> I would really love it if people came. Well, this has been uh, Guy Montgomery. It's been the 2012 Huia Pinot Noir. It's been the 2014 Huia Gewurz. And it's been real. Till next time, folks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mmm. Mmm.